Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to show you how you can import files using Stylus. Now, import statements are something that is a key feature in CSS preprocessors because it allows you to separate your CSS files in a nice organized manner so things can stay separate, like variables can stay with variables, mixins can stay with mixins, and so on. So let's get started using import statements right now. Okay, so in the last video, you can see that we have things like a clear fix, and we have border radius, and then we have some variables. Well, what's quickly happening is that our style sheet, which is our .styl file, is now not necessarily representing our actual styles on our page, it's representing code that we're reusing. For instance, our actual CSS, this body tag where we're actually styling something, already occurs on line 18. You can see that once you start to bring in more and more mixins to help you out and more and more variables and other things like that, your CSS and your style, the code that you're actually going to be editing most frequently is just going to get pushed down. And maybe that's not a problem, but one of the best parts about using a CSS preprocessor is how easy it is to organize your code using separate files and import statements. So how do you how do you do this, right? How do you use an import statement? Well, in Stylus, importing is really super easy. And you can import not only Stylus files, but you can also import other CSS files. So we're going to show you how you can quickly set up your project to be nice and organized. So instead of just having a one style file, which is maybe what you're used to, you can have whole separate folders that you can navigate to quickly and keep everything organized. So to start this off, I'm actually going to make a folder here, and this folder is going to be named STYL. Now I'm naming it this because this is where I'm going to keep my stylus files, so uh, now that we have an STYL folder, I'm going to make a new file inside of that. And this file is going to be our variables stylus file. So what we can say is variables.styl and so it's just like saving any other file with a stylus extension. Now let's move our variables into this stylus uh, variables file. So I'm just going to cut, uh, cut those right out of there and I'm going to paste them into our variables style file and you'll notice that if I were to save this main style file, things get really weird over here. You start to notice that uh, this blue is now using the actual color blue and red is now using the actual color red, these really ugly colors. And in fact, if we weren't already using predetermined uh, color, vari color names here, it would start drawing errors because it couldn't find those variables. And it, you know, the CSS would have no idea what those variable names are. So how do we bring back in our variables.style folder? Well, that's where this import statement comes in and we can type at import, just like that. And we need to pass it in a string. Now we need to give it the path at which it finds that file. So it's going to be STYL forward slash and then our variables file. So it's named variables just like that. And here, because we're using a STYL file and not a, a CSS file, if we save this already like this, Stylus is just going to assume that the ending of the word variables here, it's just going to assume that this is uh, has dot .styl at the end. So we don't have to actually specify that this is a Stylus file. So if we save it, you'll now see that our colors are magically back to normal. So what this import statement is saying is saying, hey, go to this file, grab this stuff, use it at the top of this file. And then anytime it sees these variable names, it's going to use the correct variable and not the ugly default red and blue colors that we have. Cool, so that was really easy. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for mixins. I'm gonna make a new file in the same folder and I'm gonna name it mixins. So let's save that. At .styl. And now once again, I'm going to copy and cut all of this stuff out of here. And I'm going to paste it into our mixins file, save that. Now I'm going to copy this import statement, paste it in here, and change this to mixins like that. 
And as you can see, nothing's broken. We're still getting our clear fix mix into work. We're still getting our border radius mix into work. And now you can see our actual CSS has been bumped up from line 18 all the way to line four. Like I said, you know, the length at which your actual CSS gets bumped down is more dependent on how much stuff you're bringing in. But really what's nice about this is that you can just go to your main style.stylus file and know that these are actually going to be your website's files. And in fact, if we in sublime text type uh, command T to look through our project, we can just do things like search for the variables file, hit enter, and here are all of our variables, and we can just keep adding them in here. Keeps them totally separate. Now it might seem like an extraneous extra step if you're not used to working with CSS preprocessors, but uh, let me tell you that it is one of my favorite things about CSS preprocessors and the organization it brings to your styles is unmatched. It is really just the, the best way to keep your files organized. Now you can even take this one step further and make separate files for all sorts of things. People make extra files for maybe components. You can move things like default element styles into its own file and then everything that's your template is somewhere else. You can keep just your layout CSS in its own stuff. You can really do all sorts of different product project management schemes based on how you like to maintain your project and how large of a project it is. And Stylus really lets you operate in a way that makes it nice and easy. Now, you may be thinking, well, the more things I import, the more in import statements I have to make. It's just gonna keep adding to the top. Well, Stylus actually supports something called globbing directly out of the box. Now, globbing is a feature that I use all the time in SAS using a SAS plugin called SAS globbing. So I'm really super happy that it exists by default in Stylus. Now, what is globbing? It's essentially the use of a wildcard in an import statement. So we can get rid of one of these import statements by simply deleting it. And then instead of saying variables, we can say forward slash asterisk. Now this asterisk is saying, go into the STYL folder and import everything. So grab the mixins.styl file, grab the variables.styl file, and then import them, import both of them. So if we save this, you can see, once again, nothing has changed. We have our colors, we have our mixins. Everything's working perfectly thanks to this wildcard and keeping stuff organized. That way, if you have several folders full of several different types of stylus files, you can just have your, their import statements this way and it's gonna keep everything nice and organized. So this is not only the benefit of import statements, this is how to use them. You should now feel confident in separating out your CSS into different files and being able to import those stylus files. In the next video, we're gonna talk about more advanced and extra import stuff that comes with stylus that could be cool, like importing CSS statements, using the require instead of import, and all sorts of cool stuff. So keep watching, we're gonna show you some of that in the next video. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.